um, with, with, with the responses. So, uh, Ms. Wendy, she will um, tackle. She'll tackle this one. Thank you, Chair, for that question. And I think your your answer shows a real uh, wisdom because what you're asking about is balance. And I think that's what multi choice has come here today to say is that this is not about access in a balanced way. So how do you protect everybody in the creative value chain in a way that doesn't draw more creators with? So, for example, on fair use, we didn't deal with fair use in the time available. Um, but I think the view is that fair use is African legislation and it is overbroad. So, we have a fair dealing um, principle in our existing copyright legislation and that works. And what we end up doing with sometimes good intentions have negative unintended consequences. So the one example which I think has been given earlier in this process is what incentive would an author have to write a textbook, for example, if that textbook can just be a single student. So authors have an immense value to add, but they will only add that value if they will be rewarded for that. And so uh, I'm quite wary of the fair use proposals that have been introduced. I think that are an American import. Um, I think they'll have uh, serious implications for the rewards and incentives that authors have um, to create. As regards your question, well, how do we achieve that balance? What multi-choice's presentation has tried to do today is to say, we understand what, well, we think we understand what you're trying to achieve. Here's our concern. Our concern is about the how, because in how we seek to achieve, you know, a lot of value in the pipeline. So precisely what multi-choice has tried to do is to say, okay, we recognize that there are very serious problems with this legislation. How the objectives in a more uh, achievable way, and so those minimum amendments that have been left with me are not rewriting the legislation. They are giving you very pointed uh, provisions to say tweak this, 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 and this, and by doing so, you will in a way that doesn't decimate the entire value chain because it takes a huge amount of risk and money to invest in a production that you don't even know if it'll work. So, for example, in that survivor example in the, in the Eastern Cape, you know, that's a tremendous example of what can be achieved, but that needs will and finance and a lot of collaboration and caterers and lighting and production and filming. There is so much that goes into one single production. And what we're saying is, come and invest. Let's get our talent on screen. Let's grow the sector. And the only way in which you can do that is by fairly rewarding everyone, for example. Um, one example is fit equitable remuneration. So at the moment, there are royalty provisions in both the copyright legislation and the performance legislation. We, we're not saying don't reward performers. Of course, they must be fairly remunerated. But what we're saying is, first, take out the duplication. Out the, it doesn't belong in the copyright bill. It's already dealt with in the performance bill. And then, provide for royalties or equitable remuneration. You're inserting three words for equitable. You ensure that performers are equitably remunerated without unduly stifling um, people's flexibility to negotiate and, and agree on contracts that work for a particular context. So I don't know if I've answered your question or if anyone else in the team would yeah, like maybe to just to come very quickly there on the, the, the fair use, fair dealing. It's not something we dealt with extensively in our written submission because we thought it had been dealt with 
by other parties and wanted to concentrate on our sector. But I think the current copyright regime is a fair dealing one. Um, and that is based off of the British system, which is also fair dealing. So it reflects our, our historical development line with the, the, the British one. Um, and that being said, the, the British system has Marrakesh Treaty to include on their narrow list of the exception. It was amended again in 2014 to address tax and data mining for specifically non commercial purposes um, because of the developments around AI and uh, data mining on, on, on the internet. Uh, so the concern is with the hybrid approach, the word such as gives a list, but that list is not being constricted to only those examples on the list. It's very wide. Um, one would prefer from the, the perspective of legal certainty, which is what fair dealing does give to you. It reduces the number of court cases to, to secure um, precedents, which we would have to go through over the next decade for sure. Um, is to set those narrow exceptions, which is in line with what copyright's about, the legal right um, created by the state. But of course, one is aware why a number of proponents of fair use in South Africa are doing so, and that is because um, in South Africa, if you have a narrow list, what happens if the environment changes, especially in the digital environment, it changes every three years. How do you address the developments of technology? And one way to do that and still keep a narrow list is to empower the minister to make regulations to add to the list, but that should be subject to the three-step list. So it shouldn't be overbroad. It shouldn't conflict with the normal exploitation of these rights, um, and it shouldn't prejudice the legitimate rights of the holder. Thank you. No, thank, thank you, thank you uh, for, for, for that uh, uh, response. Uh, of course, just the last point from my side, uh, it might be the, the response from you. The, 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 the difference between the UK legal system and the, the American one is that the, the UK is a parliamentary. Uh, with UK Parliament is the supreme law of the country, and uh, with uh, America, uh, the Constitution is the supreme law of the country, and that uh, our country also, South Africa, it uses the uh, the constitutional democracy, which means uh, the Constitution is the supreme law of the country. So, 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 so I guess the that's where the, the evolution of uh, fair dealing and fair use emanates from. And uh, it, it, that could, that difference, uh, the distinction given the proximity between uh, our system, I guess uh, even the, the intellectual property regime somehow will make uh, a reflection in terms of uh, our departure from uh, our historical friends, uh, 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 because of the developments in our country, uh, we are no longer a parliamentary system, which might explain the, 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 the emphasis more on the right to dignity, the, the, uh, the, uh, the freedom of trade. But I think, but more than that, also the, the, the uh, the uh, the latest concord judgment on what well, brought by the blind South Africa it, it reflects the evolution from where we come from and where we are going uh, and uh, I must uh, then take this opportunity on behalf of the select committee uh, uh, to express a word of gratitude to my choice team led uh, by Colin and the team uh, for putting us in a much more better position to to, to understand the industry, uh, the, the, the areas of, of, of concern, but more than that, the progressive uh, manner in which you also said, look, these are the issues, but these are the, the, the minimum way to go. Uh, and on that note, uh, have a wonderful afternoon as you continue to listen to various views from, from the public. 
which ultimately will uh, play a critical role at the end of the at the end of this process when we we deliberate and adopt the the report as the house. Thank you, Colin and the team. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you, Chair. Let's 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 then move to the next to the next to the next uh, uh, presenter, uh, which will be the the uh, the Copyright Coalition of South Africa, led by uh, uh, Mr. Kamat and uh, Dr. Joel Barloy. The floor is yours. Thanks so much, uh, members, and thanks for the opportunity that you have uh, afforded us um, as we also join with others to try and assist in uh, this particular process. I'm, I'm just trying to share my screen. Um, um, I, can you confirm, members, if um, you can see the presentation? Not yet. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll try to do it one more time. Uh, it appears that um, uh, the screen sharing has been disabled yeah, on my part. Good. Yeah, maybe maybe Miss Mahamad can can assist. Yeah. Um, oh, Mr. Yes. Uh, yeah. Mr. Beloy, my apologies. I gave uh, the, the 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 hosting rights to your colleague, but I will. Um, I'll share it, I'll give, grant it to you as well. Okay. Here we go. There you All are. Right. All right. I'm, I'm just um, checking if, um, all right. Um, are you able to see the document? Oh, sorry, um, I think I need to click on share now. Is it, is it visible now? Yes, 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 yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, once more, I want to thank um, honorable members for affording us this uh, particular opportunity. Um, I'm, I'm speaking representing the, the, the Copyright uh, Coalition of, of South Africa. Just a bit of uh, my background. Um, um, my interest in copyright really um, arose from my involvement in the industries where you know I, I have been involved for some time including occupying key roles in, in the industry and I have also been involved from the perspective of my um, academic uh, involvement and um, I, I um, this interest led me to actually uh, doing uh, writing the first comprehensive, comprehensive uh, doctoral thesis on um, um, music copyright in particular in South Africa. Um, I just wanted to provide that background. So I'm, I'm representing uh, the Copyright Coalition, uh, which is really a coalition of various stakeholders in the copyright industry, spanning the publishing, music, film, other creative industries. And it, it involves uh, several parties, including Anfasa, Animation SA, Audio Militia, um, uh, Capasso and all these um, entities that are mentioned here, um, which really makes it a broad church in terms of uh, representing the rights of uh, entities and persons who have an interest in uh, copyright and the uh, performance protection. Um, uh, we, we, the various parties would have themselves, um, you know, made their own presentations and we, we do not regurgitate those. Uh, what we are aiming to do is really to present an overview from a conceptual perspective in terms of highlighting the principal issues that are critical relating to these uh, particular bills. Um, it has been said that uh, there are, uh, the general position is that there are less issues generally with the performance uh, protection amendment bill as there are with the copyright bill. And, and that's also the, the position that we hold. Now, I just thought that uh, I'll start by, you know, uh, there might be some car enthusiasts amongst us, uh, just to say that, uh, you know, uh, it's a picture of a very nice car and maybe a dream car for some. 
I'll just give another uh, side to it. Uh, very, very nice car indeed. But uh, what if I told you that uh, this car actually, you know, was something like the, this, that it, it actually um, failed a, a, an accident test, a crash test. And uh, it was then, you know, someone just then came along and started to rebuild it into that car. And uh, to present to you that uh, this in our view is actually what is being presented to, 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 to us, to the country in respect of uh, these uh, pieces of legislation that are being presented. Um, it's a, it's a, it's an, it's a, an, an instrument that had failed a crash test, a, a salvage car in a sense. And we're saying that uh, this country deserves a better deal than that. I'm just gonna highlight, uh, uh, go through some of what we call those, those crash test 